Let's say that you have a string in Kotlin and you want to print it out. But what happens if this string was a, from an expensive operation? What would you do then? You perhaps might want to use a lazy keyword inside of Kotlin. And so this allows lazy evaluation inside of Kotlin. So what this will do is this doesn't look any different than what we had before. Now if I run this, what we're going to see here is that we have Don is printed. Now, however, something interesting happens here. Print line inside of here, and I'm going to say computed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this twice. And so what we're going to see is two different things. We should see Don printed twice, but we should also see computed, but we're only going to see computed is printed once, yet the second Don is here as well. So I printed both the names as done here, but we only see computed showing up once. And the reason why is because the first time the call to this name has been called, Kotlin will then go ahead and evaluate and execute the code that's inside of here. And this could be a very long running operation. And then at that point, Kotlin will remember the computed value and will return it each subsequent time that it's called, so it will not actually execute it again. So if I run this, we'll see computed and then Don will be printed three times. So a good way to, to emulate this is actually if we just did a sleep function. And we'll do sleep, and I'm gonna sleep for three seconds. And sleep is just part of the uh, Java library, so three, not 3,000, there we go. This is simulating a long running operation. Maybe we had to go off into a, a background session or we had to do some type of really complicated number crunching and to return this value. And this value here is, is Dawn. Uh, so the first time it's gonna happen, we're gonna see print computed and then it's gonna wait 3000 milliseconds or so three seconds. And then we're gonna see Dawn printed uh, most likely three times really fast. So let's run this here. Down here in the output window, you're gonna see computed, it's waiting and then boom, all three of them were computed. So what ended up happening was, the first time this executed, all this was being executed on this first line. So the first time this code was executed, it was executed right here. Now each up, each subsequent call, which happens, which ended up happening here and here, it got the remembered value. So as soon as it came out, the, this came out and said, all right, well, the, the new calculated value is X. And then what ends up happening is each time the subsequent calls are made, that calculated value is remembered and it's not executed anymore. So on the first execution, when you're using by lazy, it'll execute this code and then drop it into here. So that's how you can use by lazy to remember computed values. So things are a little bit faster. Uh, and so you can have a little bit more performance. Uh, and if you want the value remembered inside of your application in the future.